Hey, Joanna, remember this thing? No. Really? You don't remember this? No, I don't. This was, well, all the real geeks in the audience remember this is the tricorder from Star Trek. I didn't watch Star Trek. You didn't watch Star Trek? Didn't watch it. Oh, but it's I'm making this, what is it? I'm going to take away your, uh, your geek card then. Take it away. Well, here, let me uh, turn it off for a second. What this thing did was it was the original way to, uh, to like, kind of sense everything and collect a lot of data about a person um, right in one little machine. And it's not science fiction anymore. We have the founders of Scanadu, Sam and Walter DeBrower, to show us their newest product. Hi. John. Hi. Good Hi. to see you. Thanks for joining. I'm matching lab coats. Yeah, we do. Hello. <laughs> so, what is all of this, and what are you guys doing to make this a real life object? So, do you, you want to start, Walter? Oh, yeah. well, yes. Well, um, so basically, this is a hospital in the palm of your hand, which actually connects with your smartphone. And it is the mission of uh, Scanadu to bring every diagnostic part of that hospital one by one to your smartphone. And today, we are, for the first time live, we are showing you the ER room, that is this, and so the labs for your fluids. That's what Sam is going to do. So show us how it works. works. Yeah. yeah, sure. You know, let's try it on, uh, on you, perhaps. Uh, oh, right. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's so going on here? You have to take it in your... Uh, Left hand. Left hand, okay. Yeah, and on your temple. On my temple. See here. All right, and so it's connected to this yeah. phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you see it is scanning already. It's a weak scan because of the light, but it will be okay. We blocked most of the ambient light. Here you go. And here you go. All right, uh -oh. let's put you. this down Should we here show right everybody right? my results? <clears throat> All right, this is Jeff's Can we get blood the pressure, heart rate. Get that up on the screen. There, there we go. go. Yeah. How am I doing? So uh, <laughs> you're okay. So <laughs> for your age. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try me. Let's try. <laughs> so you have a you know a, sl a slight sorry, a, you know slight hyper hypertension, but you know it's basically it's all guidance. Up here. In yeah. China, you don't have hypertension. Uh, so your, your heart rate is perfect, yeah. temperature perfect, SPO2 perfect. You see, this is actually, you know, it gives you all your, you know, your vital signs, non-invasively and within the standard deviation acceptable for regulatory bodies. So you have your systolic, di diastolic blood pressure, your heart rate, your temperature, SPO2, basically everything when they hook you up in right. the ER, that's what you get here. So who would need to use one of these? Uh, well, we are bringing this to consumers. We are on the side of consumers. So we think that bringing that you know, to their smartphone, which you know, consumers are now nomadic media bubbles. They don't stay at home, so they want to use it on the road. And I think in 2015, these things will gather more medical information than was ever gathered in the history of medicine. Hmm. Is it a prototype? This is a prototype, this is an investigational device that goes to our first 8,600 backers before the end of the year, and it's introduced to FDA, so it should, be, uh, enter, it should enter the market in the US and in China in 2015. Great. How much? Uh, it's 199 but we are getting ready for a race to the bottom. <laughs> okay. But that's not it, right? So there's something else, Sam, that you guys have been working on. Yeah. So Walter showed you the device. Um, I want to show you the disposable. This is um, so device disposable data. So this is a full urine analysis test. Um, let me remind you what it takes today to have a urine analysis test. You get a prescription by the doctor because you feel you have a urinary infection or you're pregnant, some, you feel something's wrong, you probably have an infection or you have a kidney disease and you need to check your creatinine on a regulatory basis or you have a liver condition. You get a prescription, you go to the lab, at the lab they take your urine, it requires all kinds of strips, it requires that machine that costs average $3,000 and the results get printed here. And the lab technician will have to um, uh, insert those um, results digitally for the doctor to look at them. As a patient or a consumer, I will get my results average between 12 and 24 hours after the test. 
What we have done, we have reduced the entire process in one minute. So I'm going to show you with synthetic urine, so no panic. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is that? I offered, I offered my urine, and they, they did okay. not accept. We're all clean here. I have two types of urine I'm gonna here. I'm going to put my glasses on for this. I don't yeah. want to get <laughs> one that One is me. positive, <laughs> and the other one is negative. This is called urine. OK. And do you, you want to do, do you have it? anything that makes easier, it easier to get your urine into the oh, cup? Oh, yeah, we have the full user experience with a very nice cup that follows uh, <laughs> the little paddle. The cup is, you haven't yeah, done any the improvements cup, no, there. Yeah, okay. you really need the cup, and you need to dip okay. it. That's the scientific All process. Right. So you want to Can try? I dip? Yep. Absolutely, you dip until the line. OK. So you're pulling up the app while she dips. Whose and urine is this again? It's synthetic, it's, Joanne. Yeah, it's synthetic. synthetic okay. Tim Cook. You can. Yeah, you it's can. Not Tim it. Cooks. So I'm following my app. That's it. Take okay, it out. Take it and out. You just put it there. And the app's telling us we've got a, a minute to wait. Exactly. So the timer. So let me explain to you what it does here, and why. So basically, um, our app does three things. Uh, we use colorimetry which is not new, but very new for medical applications. So our app reads the color. Second, what we have done, our app, thanks to our algorithm, can interpret the color in more than 75% of existing light settings. Bathroom, restroom, wherever. Including these. Including <laughs> these. Um, the third part, we have been going granular. So our test does not unless, only say good, not good, based on a color, color code. It also gives you a number. So this is your urine quantified, you have a number that gets displayed that you can record in your phone or that you can share with your physician when it tells you something is wrong. All right, we've so got we 12 almost seconds there. left. Absolutely. 10, 9. All right. And so we... Count down to urine analysis. And it, and it uses a QR code? For the validity of the paddle. Okay. Because this is a disposable to make sure that paddle has not been used before. So here you go. Like so right, those so are my let's results. put that back yeah, down on here. So you guys can see the results of yeah. some fake person's urine. There we go. And so here you go. So you see it's really the full test, leukocyte, nitrite, that, you, that would be orange if I would have had UTI, urinary infection here. It shows protein and uh, bilirubin. So uh, protein is uh, mostly shown when you if, if I were pregnant, I would think I have an infection. Um, and again, those are the results I could share with my physician in real time. Um, so for the average person, they would have this tool in their home and they would share these with, the, with their physician? I mean, yeah. I, for the average person not understanding, I mean, the temperature seems more understandable yeah. to people. But this is the thing. So now we, we only had 10 minutes, but of course we have built a full user consumer experience explaining what those results mean, what, what those reagents mean. So it's also very educational, which is, I think, what's going to happen with new medical product coming. The next generation uh, of medical product devices will be highly educational yeah. for the consumer. I think we will be the last generation to know so little about our health. And there is also an educational part on the part of, of us consumers. And I think that we are no longer in the 19th century if we can understand our IRS documents and our uh, uh, carrier and our telephone bills, we can also understand this. And is there any fear of taking that out of the doctor's hands? I mean, that people may have too much information or it might not be the accurate information? What if you scan it wrong? Yeah, well, there's a 63,000 shortage of doctors, uh, and doctors have, indeed, they are under a lot of pressure now, also from telehealth, you know, there is concierge doctors, there is uh, retail clinics, but there is also genomics, proteomics coming up, so it's an exciting time to be under pressure for a doctor. You know. Got it. Great. How much is this going to cost? Uh, urine just included. Just How a much couple of urine? dollars. So the complete, the complete uh, uh, project here in the complete lab, we have condensed to actually one minute and a couple of dollars, and you can do it whenever you want. Versus 24 hours and $3,000. Yeah. And you keep your data over time, and you can trend your results, which is phenomenal, I think. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank this is very you. Exciting.